Hey, hey, what's up everyone? RC84 here. Like always, thanks for watching. Well, my friends, update on Dad's Axial SCX-10 2 build project here. Now, we've been working on the vehicle for the last few days now, for about an hour, an hour and a half each day. We would be working on the vehicle. So, like, one day was working on the axles. One day was working on the, the links, uh, putting everything together, and it's turning out great. All we got left to do on the project is to paint the body shell, and he'll be ready to be going out and RCing with me and hitting the trails and stuff like that. So let's talk about the truck, what has been done so far. All right, so start off with the body shell. This is a Dodge Ram 1500 from Proline Racing. This is the one that has that funky kind of off-road desert type bed to it. Looks pretty cool. Uh, definitely different than all the other vehicles I've seen out there. So yeah. Now, uh, talk about the wheels and tires. These are the uh, 1.9 Nitto Trail Grabbers. These are actually the ones that came off of my 10-2 when I had them. And uh, I've only ran these tires one time until I switched up to my uh, my go-to tires, which is the Super Swamper TSLs from Proline Racing. Those are my go-to tires. And so these are just practically brand new. Uh, they only got one, maybe one run out of them, I think. But uh, I put those on there with the KMC wheels. It's got those little center hub caps there. Or center cap. All right, so let's talk about the inside. And I'm going to try to do this and try to film with one hand and all that. All right. So uh, let's pull the body shell off or try to. One handed. Very tight. Oh, <laughs> there we go. All right, so here it is, my friends. Everything's in there. So, talk about the electronics. Now, since this is for Dad, he doesn't really need any fancy, spancy uh, electronics. So, I put a basic, simple stock axial ESC in there for him. Um, see, motor-wise, did a RC, oh, no, cross RC, 45 turn motor. This is one I had laying around uh, and I figured I would go with this Because it's a higher turn motor. So it's gonna be a little more slower and Dad doesn't really need a more, you know, much powerful motor or anything. He just basically needs uh, Something not too fast, but not too slow something where he can be able to handle it And uh, I think that's a good choice on there and this right here is just actually a testing because I was thinking about a 55, but I wasn't really sure. I was going to try to 45 on him, see how he does with that. And uh, then I'll make my decision. The servo is one of those 20 kilogram servos that you can get off of uh, Amazon or eBay for like 20 bucks. These are actually decent servos. I have one in my SCX-10 and uh, it seems to do all right. Now battery wise, <laughs> I got a shorty pack in there, a little two cell uh, 2000 milliamp 7.4 uh, lipo battery uh, I plan on getting him another one I just don't have a regular two cell lipo battery to put in there right now but uh, overall it is turning out great I do have his controller in there which is a little turbo racing controller works well for him so overall it is turning out pretty good Kit's been a lot of fun to put together. A lot of different options on this kit versus an RTR. Like, I really like the fact that Axial included three different sets of links in there. So if you wanted to do a 11.1 inch wheelbase, a 12 point wheelbase, or a 12.3 wheelbase, <laughs> it fell. Well, all right. <laughs> but I do like the fact that they include all three links in there so you can do different uh, wheelbase sizes. I thought that was pretty awesome. And uh, they also included a lot of other things that just did not come with an RTR. So that's good to know and stuff. But overall, it is coming together pretty well. So like I said, all we got to do is paint the body and he'll be ready to go out and RC and have a fun day and stuff, hopefully. But uh, there you go, my friends. So that is the update on Dad's axial sex 10 2 
So uh, we'll get it painted up and then uh, we'll do a video of him running. So my friends, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you have not and smash that thumb like button. And I will see y'all later.